Yeah. What's going on, guys? Looks like we got a nice little group here already. We got Scoop Truck, Leroy, Money Stops Molesters, Sir Fev 2010, M1, A1, MM. I guess that's uh, somebody changed their name. I think I know who that is. Anti Antifa, SD, Internet God, Nathan Smith. What up, y'all? Oh, we got a good story for you today. Oh, yes. So, it appears a group of about seven wealthy New York socialites were arrested this weekend in New York, uh, rioting and breaking stuff and all kinds of stuff. Ha! Huh. These guys are really, really something to laugh at, guys. And we're going to look at all these people. But first, since we're laughing at these clowns, we're going to go to my intro. All right, I'll see you in 30 seconds. Tell me a lie, guys. Well, I got one for you. These rich New York protesters are, or no, my bad. These protests are nothing about nothing other than black people getting justice for all the crimes committed against them by police. Now, that's a lie because as we're about to see, a lot of these protesters are just rich, spoiled yuppies. They come from, uh, you know, rich families, privileged lifestyles. Better than any person, anyone watching this show, I imagine, could ever uh, hope for. And so, we're going to go ahead and look at these. Inside the privileged lives of protesters busted for rioting in Manhattan, guys. All right. The so-called revolutionaries who were busted for rioting at a new African Black Panther Party rally. These guys were at a Black Panther rally, guys. Took a break from their yacht club lives. Yacht cl and that is no exaggeration, as you're about to find out. And modeling careers <clears throat> to become part of the mayhem. The seven, quote-unquote, comrades, including wealthy Upper East Sider Clara Krabler, Kraber, this bitch. Oh, look at me. I'm such a revolutionary. Oh, my God, guys. Did you know that black people don't even have valets? We should totally riot for them. All right. Had their mug shots tweeted out by the New York Police Department early Wednesday, days after their arrest for smashing storefront windows in the Flatiron District. All right, they were cuffed during a protest organized by the Panthers and the Revolutionary Abolitionist Movement groups condemning the death of Daniel Prude, who was killed while in custody, high on methamphetamines, and naked laying in the street. Aside from Krabler, Kraber, the red-headed daughter of an architect and a child psychiatrist with a second home in Connecticut, five of the others arrested appear to also come from privileged backgrounds, leading one police source to call their actions the height of hypocrisy. This is what hypocrisy looks like. Show me what hypocrisy looks like. This is what hypocrisy looks like. All right. Frank Furmeister. I don't got his picture. Hold on, guys. 
And I missed this one. Sorry about that. We're live, folks. Ha 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 ha. This, this freaking winner right here. Yeah. Look at them ears, dude. I bet you he can hear shit from like five miles away, guys. Well, I guess he couldn't hear the police coming up from behind him, huh? <laughs> Frank Furmeister, 30, of Stuyven St. Heights, was charged with riot and possession of a graffiti instrument. Is a 30 freelance art dir director who's designed ads for Joe Coffee and has also worked for Pepsi. Samsung, and the Glein Livet, among other high-profile uh, brands. His LinkedIn profile and portfolio show. Let's go have a look at his LinkedIn portfolio, at his LinkedIn profile, shall we? Oh, uh, I guess we, I guess he took that down after the old uh, article appeared in the New York Times, guys. He studied fine arts with a concentration in photography at Florida State College in Jacksonville. Well, I guess, huh, I guess they don't all get to go to good colleges. Even I guess he was, even though he's rich, he was too stupid to get into like Brown. Okay. In Jacksonville, according to his LinkedIn, and his most recent address is a stately home on Reed Island Drive in the city's Tony Beacon Hills and Harbor Neighborhood, public record shows. So he lives in a very nice little mansion. Oh, oh, the poor little Antifa had to spend a night in jail. <laughs> Calls to Furmeister went unreturned. <laughs> All right, next up we got Adi, Adi Sagrovich. Adi Sagrovich, this woman right here, this woman right here, here she is singing at her Sea Cliff Yacht Club. Here she is performing at a rising star at the Sea Cliff Yacht Club. And here she is in her mugshot after being arrested for rioting. Oh, yeah. Adi Shragovich is a student at Sarah Lawrence College from Great Neck, Long Island, according to uh, police and her family. The young activist lost her phone during the rowdy weekend protest and prompt promptly called her mother who, quote unquote, made arrangements to replace the cell phone right away, honey. Her mom said she hasn't been terribly in touch. She's been off doing her own thing. Who her mother, Susan Jacobowitz, as an English professor at Queensborough Community College. So her mom is a professor. What what a what a big shock. I kept thinking I would get a call from the hospital or she'd get arrested because it seems like it's just dangerous times right now. Yeah. It's dangerous times because your fucking rich-ass yuppie kids are out there burning cities down all across the country and looting and rioting and getting black people killed and their lives destroyed. At least she's not in Rikers, said her mom. <laughs> Before joining the protest, Sragovich was an accomplished musician who spent time performing in local theater groups and at the Sea Cliff Yacht Club. Oh, the poor little rich yuppie. Oh, man, I wonder if she's going to get kicked out of her yacht club now that she's a fucking criminal. The article quotes her teaching saying how her teacher saying how impressed she was with Sragovich, who performed from her extensive rep repertoire of jazz numbers. Great. She's a jazz singer, guys. Wow, that's like the lowest of the low. In 2018, while a senior at Great Neck High School, 
Sragovich organized a walkout at the school following the mass shooting of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, Douglas Hills School in Parkland, Florida, according to the Island Now. Of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. I don't know what that means. Okay. It really invigorated me. I feel like my generation is finally coming into its moment. Sragovich told the outlet at the time. Unfortunately, that power comes from the fact we're the ones being hunted and killed. Who are the ones being hunted? Miss Sragovich, you are definitely not one of the ones being hunted and killed at your yacht club where you sing jazz music and you are as lily white as the driven snow. Okay. Most recently, Sragovich in July was at Occupy City Hall where she spent time fixing sandwiches and plastic bags of granola for breakfast, according to the New York Times. <laughs> oh, my God. She was literally handing out bags of granola. That she is a crunchy hippie, bruh. All right. Sragovich has been charged with rioting and did not respond to a request for comment. Claire Severin, 27, who lives in Washington Heights and was charged with a rioting, with rioting, appears to be a signed model with the We Speak Agency. Here she is. There's your little model. I don't know. She's really not that hot. All right. I mean, she's like a seven, an eight, a seven and a half. She has the ability to jet among Montreal, Quebec, and Dublin, Ireland, before settling into in the Big Apple to pursue a career in acting. According to a modeling profile with the same name, Claire has always had a profound respect for nature and enjoys hiking, photography, photographing these hikes and trying to get other people excited about our wonderful planet. Her modeling profile gushes. She believes beauty can be found everywhere and in everyone if you just look around. Beauty's in everyone except for white people and the police and men and you know, anyone that's not a disabled black trans person. Okay. Sovereign, who b lives in Audubon, on Audubon Avenue. Damn! That is rich. That is very rich. Cannot be reached for a comment, guys. Yeah, so she loves photographing, rioting. Killing uh, and destroying businesses and the, the lives of black people. Okay. Etkar Suret, a 27-year-old from Brooklyn who summered in Europe as a kid, is charged with rioting and possession of graffiti instrument. Ha 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 ha. Oh my god, look at this fucking loser right here. Oh my god. Could you get any dumber, guys? Could you get any dumber? No, I believe that's a guy. T Storm, I believe that's a guy. <laughs> yeah, I ha I'm actually uh, lactose intolerant too. R Crazy Renee. I understand that. All right. Is a 27-year-old from Brooklyn, okay, yeah, when approached for comment at his Prospect Park South apartment. Wow. Wow, guys. God, I couldn't even probably get into his building. Surrett barked, I don't want to talk to you. You can go away and slam the door in a reporter's face. Wow. So loving. So tolerant. So beautiful, these leftists, I tell you. Elliot Rucka, a 20-year-old from Portland, Oregon, guys, was charged with rioting 
He is the son of a famed comic book writers, Greg Rucka and Jennifer Van Meter, according to his father's online online bio. This guy. Wow, what a winner. Dude, he looks like uh Dude looks like he could have been in like uh, Skid Row. Like 18 in life, you got it. I don't know. He looks pretty cool. You know. I'm not going to make fun of how he looks. He looks like he could be my friend. Uh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Greg penned the comic book series The Old Guard, which he then adapted for a net film of the same name and co-created the Stump Town comic series that ABC optioned into a TV show last year. Calls to Rucka and his family went unreturned. So, those are all of our uh, rioters, our rich little spoiled brats who all uh, decided to ride in New York City, guys. Uh, what do you think about these guys? Huh? What up, y'all? Christian Shaw. Bookie One. Jay Gurr. All of them are in their 20 and they're spoiled brats. Yes, they are. A uh, bunch of losers. Shitty kids, they are anti terrorists. Dude looks like a lady. Ah, ah. They must all be misunderstood and still trying to figure it out. Yeah, you would think millions and millions of dollars would help in that, but no, apparently not. The faces of meth. More like the faces of stupidity. Like, what the hell? Like, these guys are protesting themselves. Do they realize that? I don't know. But they are literally they are literally out on the streets protesting against themselves, basically. I don't get it. I don't get What are they trying to do? Say, like, oh, we're not the bad rich people. I mean, I just don't get it. Yeah, they will uh, end up bragging about it, I bet. McVideos? I bet you they sure will, bro. None of them will go to jail. Daddy will bail them out, said Internet God. I believe that. M1A1 says they're delusional. Mark Katakim said there is no bottom for people for people's stupidity. You are correct, man. That is absolutely true. I couldn't imagine these people uh, being any dumber. But yet, every day I find a story for you guys. All right. <laughs> they need a good old-fashioned raping. I don't know about that, Hoosier Highway. I don't support rape. I think that's a bad idea all around. I don't think anybody can learn anything from rape except for how to be a piece of shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, they will. They will look like at it as a badge of honor. And they'll use it to be like, look, we're different. <laughs> Watchman for you says I'm a based cartoon. Well, thank you. All right. Well, uh, if you're not catching this live, then let me know what you think about this video in the comments below, guys. All right. And remember, we go live with all kinds of content whenever I want. In fact, you never know what I might do next. That's why the best way to stay informed is to subscribe and click the little bell. And that way, you never miss a single live broadcast. All right, guys. I want to thank all my patrons uh, for all the money that they give me because they are awesome. I love you guys. Thank you so much. And I also want to thank all my members who have, there are just too many of you guys now. And I really appreciate everyone helping out. Um, 
If you guys want to get your name on this list, become a patron by clicking the link in my description. Or become a member by clicking the join button next to the sub subscribe button. As always, I want to thank everyone for coming out. It's been a great show. <laughs> Let me know what you think about it in the comments. And uh, have a great day, guys. I'll see you guys a little later. Bye.